Hi friends, welcome to today's class. So today's question is, find out the missing number. The series given is 12, then again 12, 18, 45, 180, 1080 and then you have to find out the missing number. So how to do these kind of questions? So here you can see the difference between the consecutive numbers is huge. So first you can see here the difference is 0. Here the difference is equal to 6. And here uh, the, again the difference becomes equal to 36. Then here also difference becomes equal to a big number. So you can understand that this is not addition. Because the difference between the consecutive numbers in some cases it is very huge. You can see the difference between 180 and 1080 is very huge. So that way you cannot connect the numbers in this series. So you understand that it is not a case of addition. So that is the first thing you have to find out. Whether addition is the process taking place or multiplication is the process taking place. So here you can very well by seeing the series itself you will understand that it is a case of multiplication. Here addition is not taking place. Here a huge difference is coming between 180 and the next number 1080 in the series. So it is an indication that this is multiplication or multiplication is taking place in this series. So now you can try to find out the number by which each number is getting multiplied. So 12 by 12 and 12 multiplication is taking place by 12 by 1. Okay, so I am just rewriting the series once more and we are going to solve this series. So 12 into 1 will be giving you 12. So 1 is the number which you are multiplying here. Then what about the relationship between 12 and 18? You have to multiply with 1.5. 12 into 1.5 is equal to 18. The next case what is happening? 45 divided by 18. Then you will be getting 2.5. The next one again you will be getting 45 into 4 is equal to 180. Then 1080 divided by 180 you will be getting 108 divided by 18 which gives you 6. So here we can see a connection. The first number you are multiplying with 1. Then you are multiplying with 1.5, then you are multiplying with 4, sorry, then you are multiplying with 2.5, then you are multiplying with 4, then multiplying with 6. So it is not like 1, 1.5, 2, 2.5, that would have been one case, but here that is not the case. So what is the difference between 1 and 1.5? Difference is equal to 0.5. So first we are multiplying, the first number in the series is multiplied by 1 to get the second number. Second number is multiplied with 1.5 to get the third number. Now what about third number is multiplied with 2.5 in order to get the fourth number. So difference between 1.5 and 2.5 is equal to 1. Then what is the difference between 2.5 and 4? It is equal to 1.5. So here you can see the connection. So first 0.5 is the difference between the multiplicand. The multiplicand here is 1. Here the multiplicand is 1.5. The difference between 1 and 1.5 is 0.5. The next multiplicand is 2.5. So difference between 1.5 and 2.5 is 1. The next multiplicand is 4. So the difference between 2.5 and 4 is 1.5. The next, the difference between the next two multiplicands, 4 and 6 is equal to 2. So that is the connection here. 0 0.5, then 1, then 1.5, then 2. So the next multiplicand will be 2.5 difference. 6 plus 2.5 will be giving you the next multiplicand. 1 plus 0.5 gave you the second multiplicand 1.5. 1.5 plus 1 gave you 2.5. 2.5 plus 1.5 gave you 4. And 4 plus 2 gives you 6. And 6 plus 2.5 gives you 8. So 8 is the next multipli multiplicand. So your answer will be 1080 into 8 will be your next number in the series. Sorry, 6 plus 2.5. Okay, 6 plus 2.5 will be your next multiplicand. That is 8.5 will be your next multiplicand. So 1080 into 8.5 is equal to 9180 will be your answer. So once more I will just explain the steps here. First, we have to analyze whether addition is taking place or multiplication is taking place in order to obtain the consecutive number in the series. So here you can see the difference between the consecutive numbers is getting huge. 
So first the difference is 0, then the difference is 6, then the difference is 36. Likewise, for each case, the difference between the consecutive numbers is getting huge. So it is a case of multiplication. Now you have to find out how this multiplication is taking place. So for that, you found out the multiplicands. 12 is multiplied with 1 in order to get the second term. Then second term is multiplied with 1.5 to get the third term. So you found out the multiplicands. 1, 1.5, then 2.5, then 4, then 6. Likewise, the multiplicands are changing. So there is a constant change in the multiplicands. From 1, plus 0.5 will be giving you the second multiplicand. That plus 1 is giving you the third multiplicand. Plus 1.5 is giving you the fourth multiplicand. So 0.5, then 1, then 1.5. Then 2, so 2.5 will be added with 6 in order to get the multiplicand 8.5. So 1080 into 8.5 is equal to 9180 will be giving you the answer. Now second question, so find out the missing number. The series is 5, 3, 4, then 7.5, 17 and then you have to find out the missing number. So here also you can see, so here minus 2 is happening, then minus 1. Then again plus 3.5. Then again a huge number. 17 minus 7.5 which is giving you some 8.5. So likewise it is changing. So there is no relation between the differences. The differences between the consecutive numbers. So from that you can understand that multiplication is the process taking place. It is not addition. Addition means there should be some constant difference between the consecutive terms. So here when 7.5 and 17 comes itself you will understand. Like addition is not taking place and if addition is taking place 5 then 3 then a decreasing term is coming then again increasing likewise it won't come. So this is a case of multiplication. So now how you, you want to find out the relation or how this multiplication is taking place. So what is the series first you are having 5 then 3 then 4 then 7.5 and then 17. So you have to find out a connection between the consecutive terms. So here you can just see. From 3 and 4 how you can form a connection 3 into 1 plus 1 will be giving you 4. So that is one connection. Then this 4 and 7.5 so can you write something like that how it can be written. Then 5 and 3 how you can form so you are just forming, to, forming you are just trying to form a connection between the consecutive terms. Then 5 and 3 5 and 3 means after 5 a decreasing term is coming 5 is decreasing. So one possibility is. 5 has to be multiplied with a number less than 1. So a common term that is used for this kind of multiplication purpose is 0.5. So you can just randomly check. All this is a trial and error method. So 5 into 0.5 plus 0.5. What you will be getting? You are getting 3. 5 into 0.5 is 2.5. 2.5 plus 0.5 is equal to 3. And then you are getting 3 into 1 plus 1 is equal to 4. So now you get some connection. The 0.5 is increasing to 1. Here also 0.5 is getting increasing to 1. So next case we can check whether it is coming correctly or not. So likewise 0.5 1 means next 1.5 should come. So 4 into 1.5 plus 1.5. What you will be getting? 6. 4 into 1.5 is equal to 6. 6 plus 1.5 is equal to 7.5. So that is also coming correctly. Next time also you can check. So likewise it should come as 7.5 into 2 plus 2 is equal to what is 7.5 into 2 it is 15 15 plus 2 is equal to 17 so that is also coming correctly so now you are able to analyze the relationship between the consecutive terms the first term is multiplied with 0.5 then again the same term 0.5 is added you will be getting the second term second term multiplied with 1 and again that same 1 is added you will be getting 4 then the 4 is multiplied with 1.5 and you are again adding 1.5 you will be getting 7.5. Then 7.5 into 2 plus 2 you will be getting 17. So next term will be 17 into 2.5. 0.5 then 1 then 1.5 then 2. So it is forming a series. So 17 into 2.5 plus 2.5. So you will be getting your answer as 45. So your missing number here is 45. Next question. Your series is 7, then 4.5, 5.5, 12 and 49. So here also between this 12 and 49 there is a huge difference. So you can understand that here also multiplication is taking place. So here after 7 there is a decrease to 4.5. So whenever a decrease comes, 
the multiplicand should be a number less than 1. So that is for inference. By practice only you will be able to solve these kind of problems. So when the second number is lesser than the first number, you can understand that the multiplicand is a number less than 1. So the most common probability is the multiplicand is 0.5. So you just try to derive a relationship. So 7 into 0.5 plus 1 is giving you 4.5. 7 into 0.5 is 3.5. 3.5 plus 1 is equal to 4.5. So, from that you are just trying to derive the next relationship between the second and the third consecutive terms. So, you will be getting 4.5 into 1 plus 1 will be giving you 5.5. So, the relationship between second and third term is also somewhat like 4.5 into 1 plus 1. So, next term how it will come 5.5 into how you can write 5.5 into 2 plus 1 is giving you 12. 5.5 into 2 is equal to 11. So, 11 plus 1 is equal to 12. The next one 12 into 49 you should uh, 49 you should get. So, 12 into 4 plus 1, 12 into 4 is equal to 48, so 48 plus 1 is equal to 49. So, you got a relationship here. What is happening? So, first the multiplicand is 0.5 and always the addition term is constant, always a 1 is getting added. So, the multiplicand is changing in a particular manner, 0.5, then 1, then 2, then 4. It is a 0.5 into 2 gives you 1, 1 into 2 gives you 2. 2 into 2 gives you 4. So, the next multiplicand will be 8. So, what will be your answer? 49 into 8 plus 1 will be giving you the next term which is equal to 393. So, here the first inference you will get is that the multiplicand is a number less than 1. So, you go for 0.5. So, using 0.5 you are just trying to derive a relationship. So, next time you are just trying whether with this plus 1 whether you will be you will be able to get an equation like this. So, 4.5 into 1 plus 1 is equal to 5.5. So, similarly plus 1 you will be getting 5.5 into 2 11, 11 plus 1 is equal to 12. Then again plus 1 if you are doing 49 minus 1 is equal to 48 is what you want to get. So, 12 into 4 is 48. So, again 12 into 4 plus 1. So, there you got the equation. 0.5, then 1, then 2, then 4 and last it is 8. So, your next term will be 49 into 8 plus 1 is equal to 393. And one more question, find out the missing number 26, then 12, then 10, then 16, then you have to find out the missing number. So, here also you are getting a series with huge differences between the consecutive terms. Here you are having a difference of 14, here you are just having a difference of 2, then again a difference of 6. So, this is not multi, this is not addition. Addition means a, some constant difference should come between the consecutive terms. So, here it should be multiplication. So that is your first inference. So, you just try to derive a relationship. What is the relationship between 26 and 12? So, as usual the second term is less than the first term. So, your inference will be your multiplicand is less than 1 and the most common multiplicand is 0.5. So, you try to derive a relationship with 0.5 coming in the equation. So, what you will be getting? 26 and 12. So, how can you form the equation with 0.5? So, 26 into 0.5 minus 1 will be giving you 12. So, 26 into 0.5 is equal to 13. 13 minus 1 is equal to 12. So, likewise 12 and 10 how you can form the relationship? So, 12 into 1 minus 2 will be giving you 10. So, similarly when 10 and 16 how you can form the relationship? 10 into 2, uh, yeah, 10 into 2 is 20, then 20 minus 4 is equal to 16. So, here some logical connection is coming. How it is coming? So, here you can see the multiplicand is becoming 0 0.5, then 1, then 2. So, into 2, 0 0.5 into 2 is equal to 1, 1 into 2 is equal to 2. And also the number which is getting subtracted also there is a particular pattern. 1 into 2, then 2 into 2 is equal to 4. So, in both cases there is a pattern. You are just trying to derive a pattern. Your main aim should be form a pattern from the consecutive terms given. So, from the given consecutive terms you are deriving the pattern, then you can easily define the unknown term. So, here the next term what, we, what it will come? 16 into 4, 2 into 2 is equal to 4 and 4 into 2 is equal to 8. 
16 into 4 minus 8 which gives you 56. So, 56 will be your next term. Thank you for watching.